will go on Instagram. He don't know how to, he got all my numbers. He won't call me and say, hey, Tammy, I feel a type of way. He'll go on Instagram and say, Tammy ain't my real friend. That's how Kev used like, to do me, you Tommy. You keep saying That's how Kev used to do me. Kenny taking all my money. Kenny ain't my friend. I fired him. That's the same. I went through the same shit. But you got to realize something that so many people was in Kev's inbox. So many people are in Shamar inbox. DM telling him, do this, do that. This ain't your friend. You would, you would be surprised at the people that's in this man DM that's talking down on you when you literally have to live with this person and deal with their everyday issues. And people on the internet are just going about what they see. So you got to make a decision that's best for you. Because again, like I said, when these cameras, when these phones go off, they don't see what goes on behind the scenes. And that's what like to deal with right so. no they don't see what we show them they don't get to see they don't go they don't see how much yeah. i break my neck for that boy you get what i'm saying now i don't even play with the money situation because guess what that's his money bitch i make my money i, I beg every day so i don't have to ask him for nothing because i get what i ask for every day you know what i'm saying and that's what he got it messed up he got me twisted because he thinks that i beg first of all we both beg that's clear up you get your 2400 remind you, Kenny, he bust a hole in my Airbnb. He still ain't have a to me and paid for it. He ain't even apologized to about to get But you still right here, but I took you back as a friend because guess what? Let's be honest. I genuinely fucked with him. And I genuinely have love for him. I, I, he's like a family member. You know, you got a family yep. you just don't fuck with, but you love him. That's what he, that's what he is. And I'm tired. I'm really getting tired of keep going back and forth with this situation about him. At this point, he just, it's just, it's just, it's just like he's slow as fuck. And I'm I'm sorry to say this, but he's slow as fuck. Because what person in their right mind keep fucking keep fucking a friendship over that's really there for him? Ain't nobody gonna treat you more how me and Ty do. I promise you. Yeah. Ain't nobody. No one. Because at the end of the day, these people don't got time for that shit. People worry about mm -hmm. their motherfucking self. Mm -hmm. You're right. And I'm tired. And I'm tired, and I only reason why I came over here because they said they sent me live saying he's going ahead saying I took his man. Oh, I'm going, no, whatever. But, but I ain't never why a man never to come in, but y'all friends, you're supposed to be stronger than a, a man. Come on now, that shit ain't going to last long. I mean, you know, y'all in y'all friendship because of a man. I mean, you know, that's just, that's sad. I didn't end no friendship. He started it, and like I say, I am, I'm, one thing about me, I'm better than that. It's, I mean, it's billions of niggas out here. Do you really think I'm going to sit up here and argue with a bitch about a I, I just think y'all need to talk things out. It's no, talk, it's no talking. I'm tired of talking. Talking ain't going to solve no more. Like, it's just time to a point. It just cut ties. If we, if, is we gonna be is it gonna be business partner or we just not gonna be nothing? I'm I'm done with the friendship. I'm I'm tired of giving out my friends, giving out my love to friends who treat me like shit. So it's either business partner and we make money together or it's dead. It's no more friendship. I'm done with it. I I, I cross my hands. I shake. I do all that. I'm done. Cause it's it's the same bullshit constantly, 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 constantly every fucking day. So either you gonna we're gonna be business partner and make money together or we are just cut ties all together. I'm done with it. Well, I'm done, sweet. I can't, I can't keep putting myself in this predicament because it's hurting me at the end. You get what I'm saying? Because I got a heart. You get what I'm saying? And when you love somebody, you go to the back for them and you try to make sure everything good with them and do everything for them. But it's time I got to focus That's on true. myself and love That's myself true. more. You got to love yourself. At the end of the day, you got to love yourself. You know, I just, I think y'all need to just have some kind of talk, you know, seeking y'all work some things out because. Y'all been rocking with each other for a long oh, time. Dear. You know, I mean, y'all know each other. Y'all know the ins and outs on each other. And I just don't think y'all should end. Y'all gonna end y'all friendship or whatever y'all got going business. But if y'all gonna end it, don't end it because of a dick. Because niggas come and go just like females. And y'all should not let no nigga come in between y'all. When this nigga gonna be a fly by night any goddamn way. Come on now, man. Y'all bigger than that. Y'all done been through so much shit together. Like, come on. Y'all bigger than that. And I just think y'all just need to talk this thing out. You know, I, 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 if, I tell me, I know you got to do what's best for you, but I wouldn't cut him off. He ain't got many friends. These internet motherfuckers just be out here just talking shit. 
You know that's what but they do. They instigate. That's the problem. The internet folks keep up smart no shit than we do. Said some smart ass shit. He ain't got nobody. Guess what? He ain't got no friends. He ain't got no family. So guess what? I'm trying to. I introduce him to my family. My family treat him like family. You get what I'm saying? But for him to sit on the Instagram and believe everything when people tell him, that goes to show he don't give a fuck about me. He say I use him, but he used me. He using me for my family and my friends and my cousins mm. and my family and everything. You get what I'm saying? When I break my neck, and I'm gonna keep saying it because I break my neck for that, that nigga. And for him to sit on his Instagram and try to paint this picture like I'm a bad friend or I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not a real friend. You don't even know what a real friend is because you keep because every person get around you, you fall out with them. Mm -hmm. And then what makes it so bad is he be the first one to go on IG every time and make it seem like he did something to him. When in reality, he did shit to us. Mm -hmm. That's how shit gets started because he posted on Instagram. When nobody knew what was going on, I didn't even know what the fuck was going on until I went on Instagram and seen it. So guess what I did? I said, they sent me, you know, I got a group chat. They sent me what he said on Instagram. I ain't call him. I ain't text him. I ain't going to lie about him. Guess what I did? I blocked him on IG, and I blocked his number. When he went live, bitch, that's when I went live. Because you're not going to get up here and play on one side story. If you don't tell everything, mm. tell everything. Oh. So like I said, he, not, he, he can stop going on lies trying to make it seem like I'm a bad friend because at the end of the day, until he know a definition of a friend and how to spell a friend, then I can say he, I can say I was a bad friend. But he don't know, he can't even spell, a def, he can't even spell friend. Thank he the definitely know the definition of a friend. Well. But you have a great day and I pray that he, he might, he might come back on here and talk about me again, but I'm done. I'm not coming back on here. You have a great day and you enjoy your night. And y'all, please cash out Kenny. Send him a gift or whatever y'all got to make his make his corn bad. You know, click. You have a great day. I'm cooking my food over here and I'm gonna eat the little. Oh, he over there oh, eating oh, motherfucking candy snacks out of cute. A real good dinner, cornbread, chicken mac and cheese, and motherfucking Kool Aid. While you running around here eating motherfucking snacks out of the stove, bitch, you don't even know what a good meal look like. The last time you had a good meal was oh, mama. Oh, Lord, Tommy, thank you so much. It's always good to hear from Tommy the gossip, y'all. I am the one and only Kenny Lee, host of one of the most talked about shows right here on Instagram Live. We are the headquarters for Instagram. Now, the phone lines is wide open at 901 520 1091. We're going to the phone line. Caller, welcome in. Hi there. I just got one more time. Go ahead, please, sweetheart. Please. So, you know. Um, I couldn't be on the live, but see, I'm going to show you a good ride. Mm -hmm. So, you thank all your cash out people's nephews, and I think you did thank Joanne, but Joanne was inside the comments, and she had explained to somebody that kept with somebody that you, um, basically was using. Your friend, Joanne, that's how you, that's how you see it. I'll thank check that bitch. I checked your ass, bitch ass. Thank you. 9152 y'all hit the goddamn cash out. Numbers don't really matter to me. Because if you ain't got no money, baby, you just got your ass up in here, you can go ahead on. We're here each and every night at 8.15, y'all, right here on Kenny Lee's Live. It's Let's Talk. We're the headquarters for Instagram, y'all. Hit the goddamn cash out. We're going back to the phone line. This is an extended show. Call the welcome in. So, Kenny. That we just ain't gonna address the fact that the real reason why uh Shamar is mad at Tommy and Ty because they woke it up, up on him that he be fucking them dogs. See, we ain't gonna forget about that. Ain't nobody said nothing about that. Let's talk about it. Oh so, welcome uh, in here. Yes, honey. I'm here to talk about Shamar okay. and his dirty ass. Mm. I Personally, think that Tommy and Ty have done more than anybody for him. And it's not right that he is sitting here dogging him, them out mm. for what Ty actually took the ass whooping for Shamar. Mm. Shamar was in them goddamn bushes. Oh. His gang, right? Okay. Tommy actually beat his ass and came back and been his friend. Let him live with him rent free. And you had twenty four hundred and then give him a dime when you owe him seven hundred and all dollars. Mm. The math is bad, baby. Mm. Mm -hmm. And 
and he sent him shitting on Miss Olivia or Olivia the president. We need to get to the bottom of this because, honey, it's not as much getting banned from bath houses and stuff. Mm. The shit is ridiculous. You had to do something really wrong to get banned from a bath house, honey. Let's Ooh. talk about it. Well, you said it. I- I did. 901 y'all. This is an extended show of Let's Talk. You can get in on the phone lines and talk about that or what you want to talk about, y'all. Just make sure you hit the cash app at dollar sign, Kenny Lee TV. Send your girl a two in a goddamn suit. We're talking about it tonight, y'all. You got to go to bed, go to bed. You got to go to work, go to work. But we're talking about it tonight. Call and welcome in. I'm working overtime. Hello? Hi, Kenny. Hi, how are you? 